Good morning, church family. I hope you saved back a few little dollar bills. It's children's story, and the children love picking up that offering for us. So if, and this one goes for CVCA, the student aid. So if you have any extra dollars, kids, come on up, and let's um, collect some offering as you come. Okay, find a seat on the stairs there, guys. Drop your offering in. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Look at all those. All right. Spread out on the chair stairs there so you can have a seat. All right. Come on. Oh, there's one more. He's on a mission. Put it right in the box. All right. There we go. All right. Do you know what to do if I say knock, knock? Oh, try that again. Knock, knock. Boo. Oh, what are you guys crying about? Oh, knock, knock. Luke. Why don't you look through the peak hole and find out? Knock, knock. Canoe. Can you come out and play? Knock, knock. Cow says. Cows don't say who, they say moo. Knock, knock. Orange. Aren't you glad that's my last knock, knock joke? All right. Have you ever knocked on somebody's door? Knock, 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 knock. Uh, no? Okay. If you've knocked a lot of times on somebody's door, then you've done what Jesus has said to do in the Bible. Adults, if you want to look it up, you can find it at Luke 5. Uh, no, excuse me. Yeah, Luke 5. Oh, let me look just to make sure I've got the right one. I, I marked it here in my Bible. Luke 11, verse 5. There we go. And you know what he said? Jesus told the people about, he was teaching his disciples about prayer. And he said to them, you should knock. Can you make knocking? Show me how to knock like you would knocking on a door. So he said, he told this little story. He said a person, a friend, went over to another friend's house and started knocking on the door. Can you knock on the door? Knock, knock, knock. You know what time it was? It was midnight. Oh, is that early or late? That's pretty late. Would you guys be asleep at midnight? Yeah, well, the he, knock, knock, knock. Hey, friend, I, I need some bread. Go away, we're in bed. Friend, I need some bread, I got a friend who's come. And you know what? He knocked and he knocked and he knocked until the whole neighborhood was up. And you know what the person did inside? He got up, came down, handed him loaves of bread to give to his, go feed your people. And he went back to bed. And he went back. But you know how Jesus said to do that? He said to do that. And it's the verse that I really enjoy. It's right here. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Jesus said to persist in knocking. You know, 
Maria's mom was making cookies. Do you like cookies? Mmm, they were smelling so good. She took them out, and she put them on the sheet. They were cooling, and Maria's mom had this weird feeling. Mom, can I have a cookie? She said, yeah, you can have a cookie, but I want you to take some next door to Mrs. Olson. Mrs. Olson was an older person. She lived next door to them. She had a walker. She lived by herself. And mom just had this weird feeling. She said, take some cookies to Mrs. Olson. Now, remember, Mrs. Olson doesn't hear very well, so you're going to have to knock really hard to make sure she hears you. Can you knock again? Okay, so that's what Maria did. She took the plate of cookies. She went over to Mrs. Olson's and knock, 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 knock. No answer. Knock, 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 knock. Still no answer. So Maria came back home and said, Mom, Mrs. Olson's not answering. And Mom went, well, that's really strange because Mrs. Olson doesn't go anyplace. So she said, would you go try one more time? And this time when you get there, I want you to listen and see if you hear her moving around. So back over there, knock, 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 knock. Help. Help. And Maria ran home. She says, Mom, I heard somebody calling out help. And Mom went over, grabbed her cell phone, went over, and she called 911, and she also got some, an ambulance there. Mrs. Olson had fallen. And she'd been on the floor for about two hours, praying somebody would come. You know, Mrs. Olson might not have been doing the knocking, but she was sure praying hard. And aren't you glad that Maria's mom was listening to God's voice that said, go check out your next-door neighbor? Now, God does that a lot. He sends us, we're his hands, we're his eyes, Wear his feet to go check on others. And so today, remember, you can help somebody else. It might not be knocking on their door, but it might be listening to the Lord, what he tells you to do in your heart. Okay? You can head back to your seats now.